Lane. So I got some new products here to try out. This company, Govi, I don't know how to pronounce their name, uh, and I'm gonna butcher it, so we're gonna call them Govi. Govi? I don't know. They're a company that sells on Amazon, but basically they specialize in light and lighting apparatuses. They were kind enough to send me out uh, two different items. I'm really excited about the one that goes up on the TV, but they also asked me to kind of do a review on these outdoor lights. As far as the outdoor lights go, I'm gonna go put them out on my deck. It's starting to get warm out. It's a perfect time to kind of revitalize some stuff. I already have a strand out there, but I want to add a little bit more, and the ones I kind of have out there, there's a couple that are broken. So I'm gonna replace those and add these. So the really cool thing about them, these compared to the ones I have out there currently is obviously these are all kinds of different colors. So if I want to go out there and have a rave, you know, and completely irritate my neighbors, uh, these, these will help me do that. So yeah, uh, but this other little piece is a, one of the, those LED TV backlight things, but this one actually like looks at your TV and like changes the color. You've seen them on like TikTok and all that stuff. Um, well, they have a version of it. So I'm gonna do a review on that, see if it's as cool as everybody says it is, and if this product is actually a good product. Both these work uh, with a smartphone and uh, are Bluetooth capable. Unfortunately, because of my crap internet out here, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to hook them up to the internet because I can only have it's a whole thing, checkings and my savings, and it takes a day to train it. Anyways, yeah, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and start off with the TV one. I actually need to hang my TV up in my shop it's uh, been a thing on my to-do list, so this is a good excuse to actually, you know, do it. So, yeah, let's go hang a TV up. So now that the TV's hung up, I can go ahead and open the box and see what all this comes with and try to get it hooked up and show you kind of what it looks like. I think it's going to be straightforward, um, but so let's go ahead and see what's in the box. Okay, so this is everything it comes with. This is the camera, I think, that goes on the front to see what you're doing on it so that it can relay it through this guy to the LEDs. Obviously a power supply. It's got a couple of these sticky things to, I guess, for cable management. I'm assuming this is the actual LEDs, and I have no idea what these are for. But yeah, so this is basically everything. Obviously, instruction manual, some like, what do they call them? Alcohol wipes? Yeah, alcohol wipes. So, yes, yeah, to clean everything off before you do it. So, obviously, this is going to go on the back of the TV. This probably will too. It also has a sticky bees on it. Um, LEDs. I'll actually open them. So, yeah, this end plugged into here of this thing. This end, it's got a USB. Plugs into here, power plugs into here. That's basically it. Pretty simple. So yeah, pretty simple. Uh, not really, not really that complicated. Probably have tips on like how to hang it and things like that. Basically, the LEDs are just gonna go around the back of the TV. I think they face. I think they're supposed to face the wall itself, so like they stick to the back of the TV. So these things are supposed to be more for like cinematic stuff. Um, and I actually just finished like setting up in here and it's got a certain feeling to it and I like to play games and stuff on it. There's my theme wall. I'm pretty proud of that actually. Uh, but yeah, so I'm actually thinking I'm gonna move it and put it on the back of my monitor. I think it should still do the same effect, so I think I've changed my mind. I'm not gonna do it on this TV. That guy. It'll work. I hope. I don't know. I'll, I'll try it. If it doesn't work there, um, I always have my TV inside. But yeah, I don't, I don't know. Like, it's just, it's kind of up there, you know? I don't know if it'll have a really good vibe. I don't know if that's what I'm going for out here. You know, this is my shop. It's, it's, it's dirty, you know? Still working on that. 
Sorry, I'm just having a hard time deciding. Yeah, I'm gonna put it on the monitor, so let's go put it on there. Yeah, so that didn't work, so I'm gonna go back out in the shop and put it on the TV out there. Sorry for all the confusion. Okay, so here it is all hooked up. As you can see, it's uh, displaying the same colors behind the screen as it is on the screen, or similar. It's super cool. Um, I'm actually really happy with it and how much of a difference it makes compared to on and off. So the whole thing is set up through the app. So originally I thought that it was just a plug-in done and I was really confused on how it did it and so what you actually had to do is that you had to calibrate it it had these little orange squares that it came with and you put them in each four corners and then one at the bottom and two on the sides I think you had a total of seven on there something like that but then you just go to their app and it's really I mean it's just it's just their app so when you're in here you just find your device and automatically syncs with it here's what it looks like oh you can change some stuff too that's pretty cool so I can make it more saturated so that it's more intense that's pretty cool i didn't know i could do that until just this second so so you can change like the brightness and stuff so if you like want to turn it down so you can barely see it or you can turn it all the way up obviously so here's what it looks like on really colorful and really cool and then off obviously there's a significant difference between it on and off um i have something that's very colorful i'm watching our planet and it's obviously super colorful so um it it it's very vibrant, which means it's gonna obviously do something better than if you have something just plain on. But it does add quite a bit to the uh, ambiance. And it's even cooler if you have like all the lights off. Obviously I have like this window and it's kind of like dusk. I'll show you a video of like what it looks like at night because it like, it fills the room and it's super awesome. And especially now that I figured out that saturation that I can turn it up and it just makes it more vibrant. I'm gonna try that at night and see how much more. So I'll give you a shot of what it looks like at night. But yeah, overall, super easy to set up, awesome product. So if this is something you're interested in, just look in the link below. There's, there's a link to this and then also the other project or product I'm about to review. Which, in saying that, let's go get started with that. It's going to be the outdoor lights. So let's go ahead and get them set up and see what they look like. I'm assuming it's gonna be the same type of thing. You're gonna use the same app. And you, gotta, you do have to connect to the internet, so if you don't have internet access, which I don't know who in today's age doesn't have internet access, that's what you have to do in order to hook it up. But yeah, other than that, Super easy setup. You just like, it automatically connects. It, it's anything else that you would set up. If you know how to set up an Amazon Alexa, then you can set this up. So let's go put up some outdoor lights. Okay, so I'm super excited about how well the TV lights worked. So for the second part of this video, I'm actually going to hook up these outdoor lights. They're kind of the same as the indoor lights. They work off an app. You can use them to change the color if you want. So I have these ones strung across up here. They were these like really tiny light bulbs. And anytime the wind blows, uh, they kind of just like randomly break. I don't know if it's because the wind's too intense for it and they just like break pretty easily, but. So I'm going to go ahead and just like take these old ones down and hook the new ones up in their place.
All right, so here they are. I haven't turned my other lights on, but with them, it really brightens this entire space up. They, they are super cool lights, and I'm really happy with them. Um, and again, they uh, use the same thing that the app in my shop uses, or it's the same app that the other lights use, or the other, use their app. Again, what's cool about these is if I wanna have a dance party, yeah. They have all kinds of different settings in them. They even have a Christmas setting. So if you want to use them as Christmas lights, you can. But yeah, if you just need them for outside regular lights, they're cool. And they also have a setting that hooks up to music. And so like every time you talk, it lights up the lights. So it kind of does something. Yeah, I don't know. It's, uh, it's pretty cool. You can just like choose a color if you want to. I'm gonna change it all kinds of, all kinds of different colors and like I can if I want to say I just want to change I want to change these certain lights to red I can change those to red so you can do whatever you want to these it's really cool all of it's controlled through the app really cool process but yeah so the lights are awesome again everything's linked in the description below all right, well that's it for this one. Uh, both the lights are really freaking cool. This one will probably end up inside on our TV inside just because it'll get more use. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like I said earlier, everything's linked in the description below. Great company, uh, great app, great lights, extremely bright, extremely vibrant. Everything works really well. I, I really don't have any complaints on this one. Everything was easy to set up. Yeah. If you guys have any questions, hit me up. If I can't answer it, I should be able to lead you in the right direction. But until next time, I'm Lane from Makers Lane. You guys have a good one.